Welcome to TG Captain Bell, everyone. This is actually Daniel speaking. So literally, we've got a situation where the AI, or should I say the human player and the AI are just traveling the map in circles. So this is like the common tendency of what happens on TG Captain Bell. So we've literally got Ronan Barbarian, Warriors, Men, how you spell his name, FDFSF, brilliant name, Be Good, obviously, you got to be good in this world. And so essentially, like, um, we're just spectating the game so far, so let's see what's going to happen. Like, so obviously we've got hill campers, there we go, yeah, yeah, there we go, get the crossbows on the hill, you don't want the cab coming after you. And then you've literally got the situation of we scroll along, of the squad and the infantry just going, yep, we're just going to take this fire from a distance over a river. And then literally, the fire arrows are there as well, so that's pretty lethal. Now for those of you who, that, who don't know about TG Captain Battle, it is basically a native as in original game like multiplayer server you can play so at the end of the day all you have to do is go to tg server name tg with the stars tg captain battle as it says here and you'll be able to join the game now just make sure there's people on the server i mean you get the select actual like units so for example if i was to go right if i was to go okay so i'm gonna go Let's say uh, Swadia, they make it more interesting. Um, because they've obviously got crossbows. I'm going to go cavalry, because I'm usually specialized well at cavalry, which allows me to actually develop really, really, really well in the game to actually get scores on kills and also work as a team. In other words, with cavalry, you have much more flexibility than if you were to basically um, go around like uh, with crossbows and just have to react to some random basically what we call Rambo, like coming up to you and just killing all your men and your crossbows barely being able to fire. So effectively what we've got is like uh, FD, FSF approaching the crossbows and then we've got the Rodot crossbows down here. So essentially the whole picture here is that the Rodot's just one us shit, like literally. So that is pretty, pretty barbaric if you just think about it. You've got all these crossbows shooting all these Swadians and essentially, they're just running down over a bridge. Uh, they could get interesting yet, but realistically, it's obvious what might happen. The crossbows may end up in a melee engagement quite soon. The Swadians are moving in. They're heavily armoured. Essentially, like the Swadian infantry are literally just running in circles again. This is kind of the sort of thing you would have in TG Battle, the Captain Battle, when essentially like there's just crossbows but i can see the cavalry coming in so the cavalry is coming in to charge so we've got a human player here all right so fire arrows are lethal by the way so that's like one of the things that you can pick up in the game or or on the mod where essentially um how do you put it like you can download files like to actually get more extension on the game but you don't really need those files literally it's just if you want those files to get more customization and then, like a mod, basically. And then uh, that works with the stuff. So that was pretty much the lethal there. The enemy, or let's just say the Swadians, literally got killed. So the enemy has actually destroyed the Swadians on the bridge. And then we've got like approaching here. What's this? And the cavalry are in. So it looks like the Swadians seem to be losing this. We've still got the Swadian infantry approaching. <laughs> Bit of melee action going on. Ah. <laughs> Literally, this is something with Martin Blake Warband. The game itself, uh, as in the game I'm playing, it literally has shouting all the way. So if you're going up a siege, you know, like a wall or castle or something like that, you're essentially going to have them going, ah! and if there's like 200 people, they're going to all be doing it. So essentially, that's something that's a common tendency to see in Martin Blade Warband. So essentially, just waiting on this guy to run away. 
He's gonna get clubbed. He's gonna get oh there he is. The FDFS F guy actually died. And then he's just got this random cavalry unit traveling away. So here we go. We've got a human pro oh look at an AI. AI is running on its own. No, 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 no. He sent its troops out. Essentially going into the fray. So essentially there we go. Let's see what happens. It's probably gonna get shot, but you never know. Back into the river he goes. So essentially that's one way of going. This guy's just playing. <laughs> There's multiple cap units now. So essentially this has changed the game itself. You just have the teleportation of the bot that just died in the wilderness. That literally is to do mainly with the game. That's the sort of thing with Mountain Blade Warband. You have these random bugs that are kind of hilarious, but still exist. Died like a man, Ronan said. <laughs> oh. A be good has killed the road to crossbow. <laughs> and he's coming in, he's coming in. He might be able to win this if he does it right. Cavalry on Warband, all about skill, all about skill. Can be shot, cannot be shot. We'll see what happens. The remaining reinforcing cav of the Swadis may have won the day. This is what I'm on about. Like, you can't actually do much as crossbows when you're coming up against cavalry close range, because the cavalry can just evade your shots. You can't reload in time in order to attack. And so essentially you end up in a situation, but even when that guy's off his cavalry, like, you basically end up in a situation where you're now facing them on melee, if not on the cavalry, and they're coming up behind you. Oh, that was a good shot there. And a very good shot there. Oh, it looks like they're going to win. Ronan's going in there for the kill. Warus. Just literally. Oh, Warus. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to win. And the Rodox just won the day. Amazing. Amazing teamwork. 